Hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're going to do a whip and chat today with Diamond Art Clubs, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're about around here. Uh, pocket watch and some of the books. Yeah, the section here. Okay, square drill. 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters, 53 colors, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, so how's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. The sheet does not want to seem to stay on the stand, but hey, we're having tons of fun. All right, we're at color 642, uh, right facing triangle kind of thing. Oh, okay, just this kind of. Okay, so hopefully your uh, crafts and other hobbies are going well. Okay, I guess it was like down here filling in the book, and then we'll go to the. Uh, Pocket watch. Okay, there we go. Oops. I'm shaking the stuff again. Okay, 642. Alright. I work later this afternoon at my part time, but hey, we'll hang out for now for to at least get a whip and chat in. Yeah, since I'm working the rest of the week. So <laughs> I already worked Monday, Tuesday, so Yeah, see how it goes. Just hang out, have a good time, get some drills on adhesive here, and purrs. Alright. Alright, just a nice little staircase of color here. Yeah, winter came back for a nice cameo. It's really windy today. A Canada flag's holding on for dear life onto the flagpole, so that's fun. Uh, it's trying to clear up. There is like blue sky. I think a storm, winter storm front, like it's just pushing through. Yeah, it seems to be clearing off with the wind, so clouds are clearing off. All right, so I traded in my PlayStation Four and a few games and got store credit. So, I'm one step closer to acquiring a PS5, PlayStation 5, so I'll keep working away at that. Just put the store credit on like an e uh, GameStop kind of card, so just so it would save. So, I'll just keep the receipt of the trade that trade in that I did. Yeah, I did the PS4 system and some games, yeah. For the trade-in, I got a pretty good amount, so... Just go towards a PlayStation 5. Yeah, eventually, I'll, down the line, I have to get work boots and a mattress. Yeah. <laughs> so they're pretty active goals right now, but... Yeah, I just have to make sure my present expenses are... In order, handed in my tax info to be done. Uh, income tax stuff. Yeah, I'll be another bill to pay for the accountant. Yeah, I know taxes seem to be fairly straightforward to do, but yeah, we just have an accountant, so I just get the documents and hand them over and just I don't want to screw that kind of thing up It'd be annoying and then government's just all on you if you screw something up in it eh, no thanks <laughs> uh, the patience for that <laughs> kind of annoyance so just get my taxes done professionally I'm just responsible for handing in the documents and stuff and then paying the accountant. <laughs> so.
Yeah, it's one thing that, yeah, I just really don't like doing. <laughs> the government really wanted to know how much everybody made or whatever. Like, pretty paying taxes, like, it's already deducted off of each paycheck, but, like, having to just hand in all those documents again and then just... Ugh, oh, it's annoying. Like, why? Like, the taxes are already being deducted, so it's like, why does the government need, like, a report? Man, it's, it's weird. Taxes are annoying. Just endless tax. <laughs> You're taxed when you pass away. You're taxed for the goods and services that you buy. You're taxed when you put gas in your vehicle. And it's just like... Just overpaying for stuff. And... Uh, <laughs> it's just achy. Don't like... Yeah, do the center of this pocket watch. Yeah, and then I'll do the crescent down here. I don't know, it's just unnecessary. One of the guarantees in life, death and taxes, so one of the two, unfortunately. I don't know, I'd just skipping out on doing taxes, just, it's a scare tactic, of course, I guess, but just having the government hound you for when they do notice that you haven't paid your taxes or something, it's just be annoying. Just further interference in the, your life. Yeah, it's kind of like voting too. If you don't vote, you shouldn't be able to complain about who's in office <laughs> but if you do vote now you can complain because <laughs> you're participating yeah taxes you can just complain if you do pay them if you find something really or somebody's getting benefits as a result of everybody paying taxes. Yeah. <laughs> I get just like funding for other programs, but sometimes it just feels like the money is just being wasted. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just silly stuff, taxes. It's just an annoying part of the year. It, advertise the crap out of new tax software and all that. It's like, just yeah, give it to an accountant that knows what they're doing, certified. Yeah. And just, they're trying to trip people up or something. Are you employed? How much are you making? Okay. This was deducted. Okay, cool. Good to know. Let's see it. It's like, uh, yuck. <laughs> Annoying. I just hate tax season. Just kind of just feels like an invasion of privacy. Like handing like T fours over. It's like, the government really wanted to know what somebody was making. They could just look it up. Like, ah, oh, what's doing all this? Filling all, all these forms and stuff. Oh, you get a refund. Well, this is money which should have just been able to keep in the first place, or you have to pay taxes. It's like, why? Already kind of did <laughs> over the previous year. It's like, ugh. <laughs> Don't like it. So annoying. Too mathy. It 
It's probably numbers and stuff. That's probably why it irks me. Yeah, it once something that involves numbers comes into play, I'm just like, yeah, my brain just shuts off. It's just, no, this is math related. No, thank you. Shut her down. <laughs> That's part of the reason. It seems, I guess, for me. Oh, it's like winter moved in again. It's just another freaking snow squall just came in. It's like, I have to drive to work in this if it's just doing this right now. Just whiteout condition. Probably just the snow that fell on the ground is just blowing around by the looks of it. I don't see another bank of gray clouds. It's just really windy. Yeah, when you have to turn your headlights on during the day, because it's storming out like this. It's just... Uh. My SUV has, like, auto lights that, like, automatically turn on, but, yeah, if you get, like, a storm during the day, it, those lights aren't as responsive, you kind of have to turn on your headlights uh, manually. So I'm not sure what auto lights give you. I didn't see any indication of any headlights being on in the auto setting while it was kind of storming earlier this morning when I was out doing errands. But, yeah. As long as you have them on, then you'll be seen on the road. Hopefully, like, have a chance at being seen. I have a dark colored car, but yeah, it still helps to have like an indication that you're on the road, <laughs> your vehicle's on the road, so people know what's going on. Yeah. Not being able to see headlights directly in like a whiteout scenario. And the winter on the roads, yeah, it's not perfect, but there's an indication that somebody is in the area when you have the headlights on. Yeah. Science. <laughs> it's just the principle of the matter, I guess. Like, you wouldn't walk in on a pitch black street without a flashlight or something to kind of find your way around so it's kind of like that or you wouldn't walk around a dark house without turning a light on when you go into a room late at night or something like an analogy like that Because in a house, you have like a higher chance of stubbing your toe when it's like pitch black in the middle of the night if you're going to get like a drink of water from the kitchen or something. <laughs> yeah, you're going to hit something if you don't turn on a light or even your phone's flashlight or something just to get around. Or even go up, get up to go to the washroom during the night. It's like have some indication of light. Yeah. yeah, I was wearing my sunglasses and had my car's lights on because the sun's been trying to come out and you get that glare off the surrounding snow. While you're driving and it just does not feel good on the eyes <laughs> without the sunglasses it's uh. <laughs> snow just has to be white and so you get that slight sliver of light reflecting off of the snow you, you get glare and then it's just like 
the sun beating into your car on a summer day. And you can't see anything. So the sun's so bright. <laughs> or lights reflecting off of mirrors and glass or something. On the other windshields of the cars that are passing by. It's just, uh. Okay, that's like the face of the pocket watch. Now I have this little crescent here so, to fill in. Oh, excuse me. Right. Yeah, had some lunch. Uh, played a couple of my cell phone games. Yeah, Axel's in the reclining chair in the living room. He curled up in a ball and just uh, started sleeping. Yeah, my mom's going to probably pick him out of the chair and uh, set him on the couch. <laughs> and she goes into the living room to watch General Hospital this afternoon. Yeah, shortly after two, I have to head out the door again to go to work. So yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I watch snippets of General Hospital sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'm generally out here in the afternoons. My mom had the studio this morning. So that's when I did my errands and did all that crazy random driving. Because uh, well, I work all weekend too, so yeah. Chance to do like errands I want to do. Uh, slim to none and trading in the PlayStation 4 and some games past weekend was an opportunity so, to get that store credit they want you to trade in games but I got a couple of games handed back to me saying this isn't worth trading like we can't trade this can't they take this in for store credit and I just kind of went, what? <laughs> it was like the Division 2 Moss, which was like a PlayStation 4 VR game. Yeah, I played a couple PlayStation VR games and uh, Tatra's Effect and yeah. And Sunset Overdrive for the Xbox One, I believe it was. Yeah, Insomniac. Games made that one. Yep, I wouldn't trade that in. Yet, I see it on the store shelf. Like, use game section. So, the value of the trade must have dropped. <laughs> it's like, this isn't even worth a penny. It's like... What? And then the Division 2. Because I'm worth trading at GameStop. So. I just grabbed a few games and. Yeah, most of them went. The uh, Nintendo Switch games, one of them went for like 30 something bucks. So. Trade in value. So. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, like. I don't know this kind of stuff. I don't game like I used to, but yeah, I do want a PlayStation 5. So I want to play more than Final Fantasy 16, but yeah, that's the game I have right now. But like, I own a game disc, but just no system. So, because you, yeah, once I get the system and then like don't have a game to play because they're like, there's no stock, it's just annoying. I'd be annoyed. <laughs> so of course I'm seeing a ton of Final Fantasy 16 stuff and YouTube shorts and that but yeah that's fine <laughs> just I've seen gameplay but I myself playing it but not yet <laughs> Okay, 
was that? Basically this, yeah, it was in the book and the face of the pocket watch. Okay, I think that's the 642. Okay, yep, looks like it. Well, at least you got one whip and chat in today, so that's good. Better than nothing. I did one two days ago, I think. So. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> Better than nothing, I'll take it. And yeah, just... okay, I'm doing right, lower right facing. It's a green. Okay, nine oh four. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the arrows today. No, it's just a few of them. It's just in this green book here. So it's not a huge deal. <laughs> Alright. hope those are like sitting on the adhesive. Okay, there we go. Pocket watch still looks pretty cool, actually. Not as light as it is on the actual uh, art, original artwork, but yeah, and rendered pretty good. Like you can see the numbers: six, nine, the hands of the clock, and the the design. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not bad. No, oh, I'll take it. The mm. rendering is still fantastic on this, so. Okay. Yeah, the Randall Spanglers and a few other pieces are just rendered beautifully on, from Diamond Art Club, so. Yeah, Dreamer Designs did a good job with the. Uh, um, fine soft day, so. Alright, yeah, let's climb up here and grab that too. Oh, there's stuff up here too. Oh, okay. Here, let's grab up here. Oh, yeah, it's just down here that's left. I just have the corner of the green book this time. It's in this part of the um, stack. Ah, wax. Putting with wax again. Yeah, it was just uh, one staff member at the GameStop. 
So here I am like trading in a system and he has to like plug it in and check it and all that. And I was like, ooh, well, it could be a bit here and there were other customers. So I just kind of like stood to the side and he just helped them. And then I came back to what I was doing, like <laughs> my trade in stuff. It's just kind of like, oh, this sucks. But yeah, plugged in, made it sure it worked. I had to delete all my data off the PlayStation anyway, so before I even came, went to the store, so. Yeah, I initialized my PlayStation. Yeah, got my profile and all that off there, so. Yeah, it, so it'll be like whenever, whoever gets it next, they won't have any of my profile info or whatever. So. Like, I just wiped the game data off that <laughs> PlayStation 4. Yeah. So it's just like you taking out of the box for the first time. It's back to that format. So anybody can just... Uh, put their information on and uh, so, uh, nothing wrong with the PS4 like I did send that PlayStation PlayStation 4 to get repaired because of the eject button overheating and stuff but yeah it's repaired now and it's a functioning system so I didn't give them a dud they wouldn't take it and then I'd just be like stuck with no trade value <laughs> I got more trade value out of the games than the system in itself. So, PlayStation 4. Nintendo Switch game being like 30 something dollars trade in value. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of different games, but there are a couple of Mario parties that on the Switch, there was like online. You could play online and be paired up with other players. Uh, I was like, no, this isn't Mario Party to me. I want a networking Mario Party. I want a Mario Party. I can just like play without having to <laughs> search for people on the Nintendo network. It's like, no, I just want to pick up the controller and play a game, not wait to play a game. I don't have time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to play a game. I have the opportunity to, so I'm going to pick up the controller and accomplish something in a certain amount of time that I have. <laughs> Rather do that. Okay. Uh, capital S here. Woo! One's just a howling today. It's really windy. I'm surprised the power hasn't gone out yet. Had these gusts of wind lately. Power's going on, gone out on a nice sunny day, kind of. Uh, the S is just in this pocket watch here. Okay. Quick half hour, I can tell you that. Okay. All good. Glad I came out here. Glad I got some drills on adhesive here. Ow. We'll just see how the weekend goes. Like, I don't know. I could try to sneak in whip and jazz or something. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to carve anything into stone. Yeah, I just don't want to say I'm going to do something and then something happens and yeah, it totally changes the trajectory. So yeah, I'll just get this one uploaded and yeah, at least have something. But anyway, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put the main website links for Conqueror and Pacer, just virtual fitness 
apps slash website kind of thing. Yep. Uh, and getting closer to finishing uh, Wild Atlantic Way for Pacer, coastline of Ireland. Yeah, uh, like nearing the 100 kilometer kilometers remaining kind of part. I'll have to figure out what to do on that. And oh, Great Barrier Reef. I'm still, yeah, I'm just working on that uh, for Conquer. So, east coast of Australia. So, virtually. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, any updates regarding uh, Echoes of Color will just be on YouTube. Don't have social media anymore. So, just take progress photos, etc., and just update on YouTube. So feel free to hit the notification bell or subscribe to receive periodic updates. I don't take a picture of uh, what I eat for breakfast every morning and post it. No. It's just for the channel. <laughs> it's just what's going on here on the diamond painting uh, front. So. Yeah, I don't update constantly, but when I do finish this section or finish this canvas, take a photo of the entire canvas and, yeah, completed sections as I go along, explaining where I am on the canvas and the artist, the diamond painting company every time. Just so you can kind of hop in and, like, glance at the post in the myriad of information being hurtled in your face every day via cell phone, website, etc, etc. So yeah, I uh, just kind of do a simple breakdown. But anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors and I'll see you around sometime soon. Bye.